When you're writing a program on your computer, it's a good idea to document your code and use comments. Java comments help you and people who may read your code understand what that code is doing. And we've already been using comments to leave notes to ourselves. We've been using single line comments that start with a double slash. And there are a couple more ways to write comments. If you have a more descriptive comment, you can use a multi-line comment. These are the same kind of note-to-self comments as single-line comments, but they start with a slash and an asterisk, and then they end with an asterisk, then a slash. But both these kinds of comments will stay inside your code. And then there's a third style, Java documentation, or Java doc comments. These are the comments that generate what you see when you look at Java documentation pages. So this kind of comment lets you generate document descriptions, and it starts with a slash and two asterisks. Then each line starts with a single asterisk, and it ends with an asterisk slash, just like our multi-line comment did. And there are tools that help you generate comments like this automatically, so don't worry too much about this syntax. Most importantly, this kind of comment lets you divide up a general description of your function, description of any parameters it may need, and a description of its return value, if it has one. The general description always goes at the top of one of these comments. Then if you want to add parameter descriptions, you have to type at param, then the name of the parameter, and then a description of it. And you can do these for multiple parameters. Similarly, for the return output, you type at return, and then the description of that return value. Let's see an example. Here's a sample Java doc comment for our earlier roll dice function. If you remember, this function was called roll dice, and it returned a randomly generated dice roll. It also took in the number of sides that a dice had to generate the correct range for that dice roll. The first part of the comment gives us a general description of the function that tells us that this returns a random dice roll, given the number of sides of a dice. Next, a description of the parameter requires. There's only one parameter, named sides, which is the number of sides the dice has. And finally, a description for the returned value, an int value that's a random roll. And when you write Java doc comments like this, there's even software that will automatically generate documentation that looks like what we saw for math.random and math.max. So if you want to write your own Java documentation, it's as easy as including it in your code comments.